This video is brought to you by ExpressVPN. Visit the link in the description to find out how you can get three months free. Ava is carving her very first jack-o'-lantern. Yeah. How's it going? I uh, to take all this out. Uh, I would advise you do so, yeah. I don't have space for the, for, for the mouse. A hey, mouse, mouse. <laughs> ah, it looks good. Look how beautiful it is. Up here and now we can eat it. I don't think that eating the jack-o'-lantern is a great idea. But this time of year is one of our favorites because that's when the stores start carrying squash. Every year you show me amazing new squash dishes that I never imagined. Do you want to show our viewers as well? I'm ready. Do we have any squash? We got squash. We got squash for days. We got all kinds of squash. By the way, there are so many different kinds of squash. What's your favorite? What's your favorite kind of squash? dish normally I use zucca mantovana which means uh, mantua squash but here I don't have zucca mantovana so I'm trying to make this dish with the with the kabucha squash so this is an experiment more, more or less now the zucca mantovana should be a little bit uh, taller it has uh, skin a little bit uh, lighter but it's it's a squash, it's a zucca, so <laughs> at the end, <laughs> I'm not using zucchini, so. It is an amazing color. I'm going to use two special ingredients. The first one is the Amaretti cookies. They are almond cookies traditionally from Italy. And the second one is this one, which is mostarda di mele. This is a sort of spicy apple jam. And this is what we call mustard in Italy. So be careful if you go there and in a restaurant you ask for mustard because this is what you're going to get. Incidentally, I just realized that it's been a really long time since you've done any kind of stuffed pasta on the channel. Would you guys like us to do a whole video on stuffed pasta? That'd be fun. Anyway. Anyway, Harper, here in front of you, there are what we call in Italy, tortelli di zucca. Tortelli? But aren't these ravioli? I know. I always thought why they call these tortelli if they are in the shape of ravioli. But I don't know if someone, some friends can answer uh, thank you because actually I don't really know. 
usually in the north of Italy you can find tortelli di zucca also in Veneto, in Liguria, in Emilia Romagna. We made the Mantova style because uh, anyway they are the most well known. The, the color of the stuffing is amazing. So, buon appetito! Buon appetito. Now I have to say, I snuck a little taste of the stuffing while you were making it, so I'm actually not that surprised. That stuffing is so unbelievably good. It's actually quite sweet. See, because at the end it's like with the amaretti, with the sweet of the squash, also with the sweet of the mostarda. It works very well, the sweet and savory thing. Also, this mostarda is like my new favorite thing. It's hard to describe what it is to someone who has never had that before. It actually is mustard. See, because there are mustard seeds inside. It is super spicy and mustardy, but also really like sweet and apple-y. I guess the theme of this is all like really good, sweet and savory combinations, yeah. Anyway, this tortelli. It's so good. So you said you can find this dish all over the north. My impression is that squash is more of a northern thing, huh? Your impression is wrong. And you're gonna show me why? Certo, Harper. But first, a quick word from today's video sponsor. It's that time of the year when everything gets a little spooky. But you know what shouldn't be spooky? Using the internet. Every time you connect to an unencrypted network, you are sending tons of information out into the digital world. Your information, your sensitive information. That information can then be read and intercepted. That's why you need ExpressVPN. A VPN is kind of like a tunnel, a secret secure tunnel between you and the internet. With some shockingly basic computer knowledge, hackers all over the world can get access to your financial data, your passwords, your emails. ExpressVPN protects your data with best-in-class encryption. If you use ExpressVPN, it would take a hacker with a supercomputer billions of years to crack the code. We use ExpressVPN particularly when we're traveling and we're using networks that we don't know and we don't trust. Do you have a way of knowing that that network called free airport Wi-Fi is legitimate before you connect to it? Click the link down in the description below or visit expressvpn.com slash pasta grammar to find out how you can get three months for free of ExpressVPN. Don't let the internet be too spooky this year. Go check them out and a big thank you to ExpressVPN for sponsoring today's video. From the north to Italy, now we go down to the south of Italy, which means that we will end up in Sicily. And I'm going to use this squash. This is a sugar pumpkin. It will work I hope so. We will discover it together. Why did you choose a sugar pumpkin? We normally use those for pies. Because my dish is what we say agrodolce. So sugar, dolce, makes sense. seasoning made with uh, vinegar, wine vinegar, and some brown sugar. And from this, the name of agrodolce comes from because it's uh, sweet and sour. This is a Sicilian dish, which means, of course, it has to be sweet and sour. See, because this is a theme of the Sicilian food. My only doubt is about the squash. The squash? <laughs> See, because we don't have the sugar squash in Italy, so... Now, I need to say just one thing. And the thing is that, uh, like a lot of Sicilian dish, this is much bad, better the day after. <laughs> No, I'm not waiting. I'm not waiting. Buon appetito! Wow. 
I don't think I've ever had a squash dish that tastes like that. Like normally squash dishes, they kind of embrace the sweetness of it, but I don't know if I've ever had a like sour vinegary dish. It's so good though. The mint, the vinegar, the sugar, it all works together so, so well. The sugar pumpkin, the sugar squash works, but I didn't know because I never had before. It has a little bit uh, taste, uh, how do you say? Fila, fila grana. Fibers, fibrous. Same. So you can replicate this dish maybe with a kombucha, with a butternut squash. For sure they will work perfect. Mm. This doesn't mean that it's not good. <laughs> I'm pretty pleased with what's going on over here. Well, Ava, now's the time that normally you make a dessert of some kind. I'm just saying I am a fan of pumpkin pie. Alper, now this time I'm not going to make a dessert. What I'm going to make, it's a pumpkin pie. It's a savory pumpkin pie. For our final dish, I'm going to use a butternut squash. Here, I feel pretty confident because we have a butternut in Italy, so I'm sure it will work. As always, do not peel vegetables at home the way Ava does. need to make a dough but it's a special dough because I'm going to use all-purpose flour, zero zero flour, some corn flour and most of all I'm going to use the water of the butternut squash. Start a new trend, squash juice. Yeah, maybe it should be also good because if the squash is good, <laughs> it's good also the juice. sweetened the extra squash juice, and now I'm gonna try it. That is really good. That is really good. Wow. Isn't that good? It's really wow. good. I'm excited for. This Arper is called Farinata di Zucca. It's a dish traditional from Liguria. Now in Liguria the most classical farinata is made with chickpeas flour and it's very 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 thin. This is a little bit different but is as ancient as the farinata with chickpeas even if it's just in a small part of Liguria that you can find it. You guys got that? There will be an exam later. <laughs> 
No, vabbè, it's very really important because it's like a farinata. If I say just farinata and people they will go to Liguria and then they will end up having chippies instead of squash, then it's my fault. No, the classical farinata is with chickpeas. You told me it was squash, Eva. They are looking for squash and they end up eating chickpeas. It's like it's not right. This is a farinata di zucca. It smells amazing. So, Arpir, we need to dig in. Okay, done, easy. Ooh, it has a, I don't know how to describe it, it has a good feel to it. It good has a good feel. Good feel. See, don't destroy it, Kato, don't destroy it. All right. Are you excited? I'm exci Pumpkin pie is my favorite dessert of all time. The fact that I can have a savory version makes me very happy. How good this smells makes me even happier. Love it. Buon appetito. Buon appetito. Yep, I'm into savory pumpkin pie. The dough is amazing. Like I was expecting to bite in and really be wowed by the filling. That is the focus of today after all is the squash, but the dough is actually kind of what I'm most into because it's very, very unusual and very good. As far as I know, it's very difficult to find this in Liguria, except in that small uh, three or four village where they still make them. But I would love to say to our friends from Liguria, keep doing, you know, the region because it's too good. Will you make this for Thanksgiving? I was thinking that this can be a good addiction to do. Addiction? Uh, addiction. Addition? <laughs> because I'm addicted. This is my new addiction. Because I'm addicted. Yeah. <laughs> Guys, thank you for joining us as we cooked one of our absolute favorite things about autumn. We love this time of year specifically because we can get squash and it's amazing. Before we go, a quick shout out to a pasta grammarian in action who made some coolerjones. They look amazing. They do. They look a lot better than the ones I made. That is not so difficult happen. <laughs> if you want to become a pasta grammarian, then hit that subscribe button. Follow us on social media at Pasta Grammar. And if you try any of these recipes, tag us in a picture. All right, guys. Happy Halloween. We'll see you next time. Ciao. Ciao. Do be careful. I, I know. I don't see this as something that kids can do. 